A rumor appeared on the internet that Carti might be dropping a brand new album on the 9th of July, completely unrelated to Whole Lot of Red. Before we start to see whether it's cap or not, don't forget to drop a like, share, but also subscribe for more content like this. Now let's get into it. A screenshot started to circulate around the internet on which a Reddit user claims to have sources that claim that Playboy Carti is going to drop on the 9th of July a folk inspired album which features Bon Iver and the Lumineers. I know this seems utterly ridiculous, but there might be just a little bit of truth to it, so let's see. The most plausible part of it is the Bon Iver feature, and why is that? Now, as some of you all might know, Kanye helped with executive producing uh, Carti's album. And if we take a trip down the memory lane, you might recall that Kanye and Bon Iver have previously collaborated both on his seminal My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, but also on Jesus. Bon Iver featured on songs such as Monster, Dark Fantasy, Fantasy, Lost in the World, and also on my personal favorite, All the Liquor. Regarding the Lumineers, I couldn't find any previous collaboration of theirs with Kanye or any other rap or trap artist. So whoever made the post added them just to make it seem even more exaggerated than it already is. Now, would I personally see Carti go this folk route? Well, yes, honestly, I quite do. Because Young Tug also did a bit of a crossover with Beautiful Tugger Girls, where he mixed trap with country and it turned into quite a critical success at the time. But at the moment, Carti is doing way too great with his punk inspired aesthetic, and it would be a shame to get rid of it, especially after the fans finally in embraced it, and it would completely kill his momentum and maybe just further split the already polarized fanbase. Now we can argue that this post is total cap, with maybe just a grain of credibility added there, so it will give hope to a few people. Then what's the purpose of the post? Well, I'd say it's just a clever marketing tactic, not for Carti, but for a small IG page, Rap Loaded News, whose watermark can be seen on the screenshot and which probably was already seen by thousands of other people. They must have thought that by making up the most insane and random post about Carti, they might possibly get some traction for their IG page. And I totally understand it, as I'm a small YouTuber who wants to make his channel grow too. So I might come up with an insane theory too, and maybe I'll out Carti as gay and tell people that Carti and Uzi were having a secret affair and that's why Carti couldn't make it to his son's birthday. Because you know, they were smashing each other's d-pads way too hard. <laughs> okay, never mind, that's been utterly lame. But yeah, huge shout out to Raploaded News for continuing the grind no matter what. And if you could, please go and follow them on their IG. Also, let me know what do you make of this rumor? Do you think Carti will drop on the 9th of July or not? And would you like to see a folk album from Carti? Please let me know all this down in the comment section. And before you go, don't forget to drop a like, share, but most importantly, subscribe for more content like this. And once again, this has been Trapology 101, stay safe and see you around folks.